Hello everyone. When it comes to training lower models for stable diffusion, there are various challenges that need to be overcome. One of the major obstacles is finding the most efficient way to merge different lower models. In this YouTube video, we will be discussing stable diffusion and merging lower models. We will cover the latest techniques and strategies to ensure your lower models merge seamlessly. Whether you're an experienced machine learning engineer or just starting in the field, this video will provide valuable insights and practical tips to take your lower training to the next level. Don't forget to watch until the end of the video to gain a comprehensive understanding of the techniques and strategies for lower merging. Before we dive into today's topic, we want to take a moment to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. Are you ready? So, let's start. Someone asked me how did I make the lower training dataset for the previous videos. Actually, the virtual woman was created by merging different existing lower models together. I will show you how to do it today. First of all, we need to have some lower models. To find the lower models, we can go to civitai.com. You can use the filtering feature to show the lower models only. All of them are lower models. If you want to find a face of a person, you can choose a celebrity. There are so many different lower models, all are so realistic. Awesome. Because there are so many. I have chosen four lower models for today's tutorial. The first one is Scarlett Johansson. The second one is Emma Watson. The third one is Taylor Swift. The last one is Jenny. First, we need to download the lower models. Click the big blue button download button to download the lower models. Let's download all the lower models. Okay, maybe we should choose one more. Which one is good? Let's choose a guy. Donald Trump. The lower model is only 35 megabytes. Kirsten Dunst. 144 megabytes. Let's download this model. After the download is finished, we copy and paste the lower models to the web UI lower model folder. Before we merge the models, let's see what the lower models look like in WebUI. We will use realistic vision. Let's go find a prompt for the test. This one is good. We copy and paste the prompt to WebUI. Choose a portrait orientation. Let's try this prompt. Let's remove some text and try again. It's not causal clothing. Let's increase the CFT scale and try again. Anyway, we will use this prompt. We first try Emma Watson lower models. We use weighting 0.7. The effect is so strong, maybe choose a smaller weight.
the pose change. This is cannot see the face. I should use a control net. We find a pose first. Drag and drop the pose to the left. Disable the preprocessing and choose the open pose model. Take so much time. Does it look like Emma Watson? Oh, not really. Never mind. We now see how the other look like. But this time use XYZ plot. Choose prompt to slash R and X type. Type all different lore models in the input fields. Let's generate. It will take some time to render five images. Okay, this is the image. This one is Anna Watson. This one is Jenny. This is Kirsten Dunst. This is Scarlett Johansson. This is Taylor Swift. The last two do not look like the targets. Anyway. We now know how they look like. We can go to merge the models now. Last time we installed the SD scripts project. We will use those scripts today. If you have not installed it yet, you can watch this video to learn how to install it and use it for lore training. You can also find the link in the description below. If you're finding this video informative and helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on our latest videos, and by liking, you'll help us reach a wider audience and provide more valuable content in the future. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. This time we create a new folder named Merge. Like what we did before, we create a bash script to do it. The script is going to use the merge law.py to merge the models. We first change the directory to the SD scripts folder. And then we can run the Python script.
we activate the conda environment first. Change the layout. Make the bash executable. We can run it now. Okay, we can see the help here. SD model, we can omit. Save to it to save tense. Models is an array. Ratios is an array. So we need models and ratios and save to parameters. We just save the output to the same directory. We try to merge Emma Watson and Taylor Swift model this time. Ratios, we can choose 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Because we have only two models, so we need two values for the ratios parameters. Make the output named this one, so we can know what it is. Run the script again. Wait. There is some error. The shapes are mismatched. They have different dimension. The network dimension of the MLOR model is 32. The network dimension of the Taylor lore model is 128. Because the network dimensions are different, therefore we cannot be merged together. We can also see that their file sizes are different. We can see that the Kiss and Laura model has the same file size as the Malora model. Let's try merging them together this time. So we change the lore model in the script. Run the script again. This time succeed. The network dimension are the same. The output is saved in this place. This is our new model. The file size of the new model is bigger. We copy and paste the new lower model to the lower folder. We try to make XYZ plot this time. We render three images on one row. The result really looked like the face of Kesson Dunst and Taylor Swift. 
The result looks so good. This is a beautiful girl. Very good. Awesome. We just merged two lore models. But we have three lore models that can be merged. We try one more time. This time merge all three lore models. We add the Scarlet lore model to the list. We have three models now, so we need three ratio. We use 0 0.3 for each. Run the script again. Okay, all three models are having network dimensions 128. The resulting model can be found here. Let's try it out. Copy and paste the model to the WebUI lower folder. We modified X values input. Add the Scarlet Laura model and update to use the new Laura model. Press Generate button and wait. So this is the final result. It looks like all three models are not like them at the same time. It's really cool. This is the result of two models and this is the result of three model. Which one do you like? Okay. You now know how to merge different lore models to get a brand new lore model. We learned something today. To merge the lore models, they need to have the same network dimension. We can merge more than two lore models together. We can also specify different ratios to different lore models. The result lore model can be used in web UI as a regular lore model. After watching this video, you may want to try it yourself. Try merging different lore models with different weights, they don't need to be half-half. You can use ratio 0.1 and 0.2 when merging two models. Try different combinations to see the results. Also, try using different weighting when doing the text to image in web UI. Let us know what you did and share it in the comment below. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Stable Diffusion and Lore Merging, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. I will put up the other video soon. You can also find all the models and images in my Patreon account. The link can be found in the description. Thank you and see you in the next video.